Hello. It is well known that hydrogen peroxide is unstable and uh, it decomposes to form water and oxygen. H2O2, 2H2O2 yields two moles of water and one mole of diatomic oxygen, elemental oxygen. So this is 3% hydrogen peroxide. And one of the things that uh, catalyzes the decomposition is a yeast. And um, there is an enzyme in yeast called catalase, which causes that uh, enzymatic uh, catalysis of the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to put a little bit in a flask here. I'm going to add some of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. And right away you can see it's bubbling. Let me add a little more. I'm going to keep the bubbles and going over, and I'm going to <laughs> you know, work, work fast, form the uh, burning splint test to demonstrate that the gas evolved is indeed oxygen. So I have a, a glowing splint, and every time I put it in there, it flares up. And I can feel with my hand here that the uh, reaction is exothermic. It's giving off heat, exothermic reaction. This is a nice uh, demonstration uh, with easily available materials to illustrate the catalytic decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. It's kind of neat when the, when the glowing uh, splint pops. I think you could hear that. So uh, this is a, a nice little demonstration to illustrate the catalysis um, using an enzyme in, in yeast uh, and the glowing splint test to illustrate the uh, production of oxygen when hydrogen peroxide decomposes. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.